What's good YouTube? Hope you all had a good New Year's. So I'm at this new stadium for the first time. It's pretty flash for Townsville. Unfortunately the floorboards are feeling like concrete and the rims are really stiff. But anyway, I'm about to jump into a quick pickup game just to warm up. Haven't played in a minute so I'm a bit rusty. Hit him with a half euro step there. And here I beat my guy off the dribble. Should have dunked that. This guy gets stuck in traffic, picks the ball up, travels, passes it out to me. I dribble to the corner, step back. And you see this right here, I always cut back door, but in Townsville no one wants to throw an alley or they just don't look for it. And then you see it here again, like I'm just wide open, pleading for the ball as quietly as I could. Bit of a soft dunk there, definitely still warming up. We ended up losing that game, so we took it out on the rim there. And then they were asking for an East Bay, so pull this out first attempt. It's starting to feel a little bouncier now, so I decided to go for this. I've been backrimming way too many dunks out here. And Fit comes through here out of nowhere. Crazy dunk. I figured I have to follow up with my own. And then I move to another court and I start my actual dunk session. And this first dunk here was probably my favourite one of the day. It just felt really bouncy and I felt like I was still going up after I dunked it. Then here I go for a high check lob. Completely miss it, but I was getting up there. With a little help at the camera angle. And then there's another back rim. I guess the only way to fix this is to try and put your wrist in the rim more and flick that middle finger down, but to be honest, it's not something I really think about in the moment. Then I miss that, but that's a dunk I only do as a warm up anyway, I just move straight on to the next one. And then I was missing this a surprising amount of times. Normally I make this within one or two attempts, but the trick with this dunk in particular is to try and do that between the legs motion as soon as you leave the ground so that way you can dunk it a lot closer to your peak. And with this 360 windmill, if I do miss it, it's because I'm fading away and I'm dunking on the way down. The motion just needs to be more efficient. I need better extension on it as well. And then with this scorpion here, for the last few weeks, I've always been backrooming it on that right hand side every time. It's something I need to work on. Got sick of missing dunks, so I went for this to get my rhythm back. Almost caught it too high. And then for the rest of the session, I went for under both. I did off the dribble about four or five times, kept missing. Went off the lob, no joke, about 30 or 40 attempts. And that's something I generally advise against because it's just not worth it in the long run. Check out my mad skills here. You better watch out for low trotters. But for me, under both off the lob, it's one of those dunks where if I don't make it within five attempts, then I'm probably not going to make it at all that day. So it was pretty ill-disciplined of me to focus on this dunk for as long as I did. I was only meant to jump 30 times that day but I ended up jumping 80 times and look at this I find a piece of my shoe that's blown off. This eventually happens with all shoes I wear it's just the way I angle that plant foot coming in. I give these shoes maybe one month max before they explode even though I only got them in November. And there you see me finally back from it but it just wasn't going to go in that day the ball was just slipping out every time. Anyway that's the session over thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.